What's going on guys, today we're here at McLaren, we're going to go ahead, have a little bit of a gander around and we've also got Bentley on the side there and we've got BMW. Maserati is just up the road, we'll check them out, maybe in a later video, this might be a two-parter but we've got a hell of a car, see as you can see we've got five, uh, 570s and we've got going 650s as well and we've got some very special Pretty cars yeah. over there as well which we're going to leave to near the end, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one, but for now, yeah. Hello, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so Andy's just told me to go around the corner here. I've got no idea what is around the corner. He's just literally going like that right now. So yeah, this is my first time actually testing this camera out on the outside, man. It's fucking amazing. So what is this going to be? But I'm <laughs> okay, it's okay. Right then, this is actually pretty cool. What a fucking lineup this is. I wonder if I try and take this, it will just do the same thing as the new Rolls Royces do. So look at that, you get Elegance right there, you get McLarens everywhere, you get BMWs, and then you get the skip bin. So another thing we've found is up here, I know it's the McLaren dealership, right, yeah. Bentleys and everything, but there's quite a good mix of cars, like a Volkswagen Golf, that one right there, <laughs> BMW 520D. But they also found this thing, it's not proper next gen or the current generation, yeah. but it's the facelifted version of the old one. It's the R8 V10, I believe, and oh my god, it's good in this colour, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's very, very nice. You get an even better look at the V10 up here. So good, and there's actually more LTs here. There's more LTs <laughs> here than last year, because there's a white one there, another white one here, and I think that's a 570, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's a 570, but that looks proper mean in that white, doesn't it? I know. Looks really, really nice. So that's the spider as well. That's the spider. So good. And there's another four over there as well, guys. Which so. we'll show you in a bit.
In terms of shock factor, I think this lineup right here that we're going to show you is pretty damn amazing. It's definitely the best that I have seen here today. Right, man, so out of all these beasts, what would you actually pick? Which one? This one right here. The black and red. That one? Yeah. That does actually look pretty damn good though. I didn't even notice the red outline. Look at that on that freaking bumper. Frank, which one would you choose? Um, Pondering about this for about five minutes now, right? Out of the three or four here, probably pick that one. In Even though I'm not a massive fan of the roof scoop, uh, in terms of the colour and everything, I'd go for that. But yeah. if there's any of the LTs here, I'd go for that white one. I know you really can't see it, but we, show, <laughs> we showed you earlier yeah. on, so. Mm. God, look at the style of these rims, man. Out of all the cars here in this little spot, there's just a random Porsche Turbo S, but the rims look amazing. So we basically just visited the 570S hall. <laughs> that's all that was really in here, I think. One of the maybe 540Cs. Yeah. That's one right there, 540C. There we go, but it's a really, really cool area. I think the last yeah. time we were in here it was like a 650S yeah. convertible. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that video, but it's a local orange. It's so nice. I believe that colour was on the P1 as well. I, I think I found a P1. Where? Oh my best car! <laughs> <laughs> best car here! Oh my god! That would cost like way more than the cars. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> awesome. <laughs> So I thought I'd do a little bit of a commentary over this one. This is the 570GT. Now, it's one of the newest cars in McLaren's lineup right now, and it's meant to be the more comfortable, sort of, as in the name, Grand Tour version of the 570. Now, the one thing I love about this is the rims. Seriously, I mean, I know they kind of look similar to the ones on the 675LT Spider, but I think it fits this car a wee bit more. Then we got obviously the 570GT logo right there which looks very very cool and this by far is one of the best features on the 570gt because the back window actually opens up sideways like an old e-type so yeah that is really cool how they incorporated that into the car it obviously isn't the same as the other cars you can see right there with the other style of roof line but it has grown on me this thing i really really like it considering i'm more of a gt guy So we're getting a little bit of a preview of the new 720S on the screen here. Really, really hope it ends up in here with these cars because god damn, it looks absolutely incredible. Look at it. As I said before, it kind of looks like the Progen T20 from GTA, but a whole lot better. Couldn't agree more, Uncle. Hmm. There we go for a little bonus of you American fans out there. That's the Mustang. Is it the V8 or the EcoBoost? That's the question. <laughs> is it the V8 or the EcoBoost? Where is he going? I think he's going to run this way, isn't he? There he is. It is the... V8. V8. Oh! <laughs> Good on you, son. And we've got a random Fiat with freaking stuff sticking at the back. Good on you. And here we are in the Bentley showroom. 
This thing has immediately grabbed my attention. <laughs> it's the Flying Sport, I believe. It's blooming brilliant. Because there is one out there where, like, there's actually a few out there, aren't there? Yeah. Like, blooming V8s and stuff, but... Yeah, just basically the same as outside. We get Bentegas, we get convertible Continentals, and we get another one right up there as well. Pretty cool, but... With a the one cool feature I quite like is this thing. Official Bentley dealership when you've got the actual badge. That's awesome. So this thing all along was actually the W12, I didn't know that, I thought it was the VAS, but what a colour man, honestly I don't know what it is, but Bentley are really stepping up their actual game in terms of the design recently, really really love the look of these flying spurs man, so freaking nice. So now we're heading over to the German area, we're heading over mm -hmm. to BMW, or in other words if you watch Salamandrin, then Forscher's favourite place, or favourite place. <laughs> So yeah, what do you think of the McLaren man? Yeah, I, do shit. I loved it. That was good. I didn't expect to see the as MSOs. many uh, like MSOs or anything like that. It was pretty good, but um, overall it's been pretty good and I've just spotted an M2. That's what I wanted to see, so we'll take a little gander around BMW now, guys.